So this is my second part of the uh, favorites of the year. Now we're moving to makeup items. Now moving to makeup. Makeup items. Oh, one thing before I, I do uh, move on from the makeup items. Magnifying, magnifying mirror is extremely helpful item. It could cause you a bit of frustration if you stare in your eyes, sort of eyes and uh, brows especially, for a long time and you notice things that normally you wouldn't notice and you kind of, hmm, okay. But it's very helpful, especially when you do work with your brows, um, you know, with, with tweezers and um, doing makeup, uh, eye makeup. So that is very, very helpful. Um, though you might not think at the time but it does it does show so many details and this one is number um is a 20 20 times magnifying it's not 10 i had 10 but um i didn't i just uh, i i use this one more and i've got several of them at home that is mirrored ones and in terms of other things i wanted to mention um that is one of my favorite products of the year because I have used it every day. This is Dior uh, Beauty Blender. There are other brands that do it. I heard that MAC is pretty good, but I haven't I haven't got it. Um, oh, using it wet, you know, it, it just spreads your foundation as well as concealer so beautifully. There is no streaks, there is nothing uh, clogged up. It just builds it in. But because it's wet, it doesn't pick up so much product. Um, so that is must have for me, absolutely. I bought it years ago now, but you wash it just before you use, you wash it with soap and then just rinse it properly and uh, use it wet and then you wash it again. So that is my, it's just here all the time. And then we move to foundations. Uh, a lot of things, it's not a surprise that a lot of things will probably go um, will be repeated from my video which I did I think it was back in November end of November beginning of December um, favorites favorites of the season and you would remember probably I have mentioned um, La Prairie as a foundation and it is truly absolutely beautiful and I think it's the best foundation in terms of formula I also like I also like uh, Duo Prestige as a formula, but I haven't included it in my in my in this video only because a choice of color. Choice of color very poor, very limited. I did try to write to Duo; they totally ignored it because they could have done it with a little bit of a uh, like number two rose undertone, for example. Because Chanel has got so many such a choice of colors, so others as well. This one is not very great. Le Prairie not very good with um, in terms of choice of color, but they uh, the combination of the two uh, uh, gives me beautiful uh, beautiful color. And coverage. People commenting. I go to work, and and ladies, of course, men don't, wouldn't. But um, ladies do ask what kind of foundation is just looks beautiful. That is La Prairie. I recommend that with all my heart. I also absolutely love Chanel Sublimage, and Formal is beautiful. The only challenge I have that my skin is combination uh, um, towards oily. In most areas, it would be oily. I haven't got dryness anymore. I used to have that problem. Uh, so it's still sort of combination, but there is still oily patches, uh, you know, T-zone. And the, so that does, it might just not, uh, it just sits on the surface in many. So my uh, Beauty Blender is the answer to that. Uh, Beauty Blender, it's got a really nice brush. I, I love the brush. Price is 115, but this one, come on, this is like, 200 each so um if price is not a problem i would recommend le prairie over this uh, if you find the right color if you find the right color but more for every day uh though i do like dior and i like lancome um taint um whatever it's called uh, i like dior forever glow forever skin glow is a beautiful foundation too i quite like Fun, um, that corrector, um, Dior, um, it's skin, skin corrector, but it's actually corrector concealer. You can use it. It's quite thick and you can actually uh, use just that without foundation with a beauty blender, which works perfectly together. Uh, but I, out of all for like day to day use, 
I haven't mentioned um, by Thierry uh, Hilaronic Foundation this year because I haven't used it much. I have finished it at the beginning of the year and I, I, I repurchased, I have a backup, but I haven't used it. So I'm going to start using it maybe soon. But um, I love that. This is Le Beige, Le Beige Chanel. Uh, and mine is number BR42. This one I bought specifically to look a little bit more sun-kissed, more of the sort of sun touch on my face, which I have it now today. Um, and I have, I never regret buying that. This is one of the things I probably will repurchase in more shades uh, when I get rid of my other probably about 20 foundations, which means it's going to be another couple of years but anyway i thought i mentioned that because foundation wise it's been interesting here but so many good ones it makes it difficult that's why the video is too long sorry about that but hey uh, let's just do finish with um sort of face products now powders powder uh, i have purchased <laughs> under influence of my wonderful friend miss frankie cat i have purchased that Shantikai. Shantikai, and it's not just her influence, of course, um, um, it's other reviews I looked at. Some people said about this crystal pink, whatever it's called, uh, it's like a lip gloss. Uh, they said it's quite gritty, it's got um, like a lip, gl lip glitter, and some people feel it's even on your teeth. So uh, a lot of people criticizing that. So I would like to hear your view if you used it and if you have it. So I haven't purchased it, but I have purchased Shantakai Blow and Glow, Glowing Powder. So it hasn't arrived yet. So I, it's, uh, it's on me, this review. But uh, this year, and this was not very recent uh this wasn't very old purchase it's very recent uh they just released it i think in uh second half of a year i think i bought it in around october it's a glowing powder um which is got a tiny tiny little um we i did review of that it's you can build it up and use it as a highlighter which i don't want but i like tiny tiny little um you know they're hardly noticeable um micro shimmer micro like micro micro glitter which is like a beautiful beautiful uh reflection of light nothing more than it's not glitter uh but love that powder so that's christian dior and i think it was about 50 pounds so Chantecaille is expensive pleasure right so i have uh i looked at it when i went to harris on boxing day I looked at it and I decided not to not to buy it because it did seem to be like a highlighter. But we don't. Let's be honest. We don't wear powder with our like. We don't. Those swatches are really. Uh, they're not representative of what really powder would look like on you. So we really should have used a uh, brush like this. This Lame brush. I'm going to mention in a minute. Um, and so I bought it because Shantikai did, uh, and they still probably do. I think it's uh, thirty percent off. Uh, so I bought it for £59 uh, versus £85, which I'm happy about. And a um, couple of other things on the face face sort of topic. I have used this app and I used it every day. I used that as a sculpturing tool. It used to be full bronzer with a, with a, a square in the middle uh, as a blusher. So I have now used it down and I'm using old Dior uh one of the my old sets uh brush which is beautiful brush for purely for you know contouring and doing a little bit of work here like that so you just you know to define a little bit and even contouring the nose that brush is very comfortable so i'm using this because this is not that warm it's it's sort of nice uh, usually i wouldn't use bronzer for contouring i would use contouring uh, products but this one is it's been my favorite and guerlain uh, i bought it two years ago it was on sales and i have uh, i know they discontinued it but they've got many other beautiful items including foundation let's just not talk about it too much because i'm gonna get into trouble with myself i also loved using uh, this clou de Pour luminizing face enhancer and this one is number 18 i was considering buying um more sort of blue colder one but i i thought this one is together because you've got uh, sort of slightly 
peachy and that together it gives a really nice um it's it's like a highlighter but it's a very subtle highlighter it's um just like like a really beautiful natural glow without being seen from you know 100 miles i like that this is a gorgeous product and i use it quite a lot i use it at work use it on you know at home uh, i also in terms of highlighters is the other one i really go for quite often just with a brush all over the face and that's what dior girls um uh, in dior counter uh, in um, what's it called in Harrods did. so she just takes a brush just like that and all over and she said it just gives you glow like a glowing powder which depends on you know if you don't overdo it it could be uh, it could be the right thing to do so love this dior backstage and this one is the rose in number i think it was number one hang on a minute number four rose gold it's called number four rose gold so that's the one another one in my drawer here and i just in the morning quickly that Guerlain powder, uh, bronzer. Um, talking of bronzers, and we finish complexion part of thing and we move to eyes. Uh, bronzers still, out of all bronzers I have, I thought about at heart and long. Um, and Tom Ford is still my favorite one. This one is gold dust number one. And it's large, um, large thing with a mirror, absolutely gorgeous. And I use that any time of a year and it gives your face a little bit more sort of alive and healthy look and i love that powder brush uh this is bronzer brush actually by tom ford it, as a as a um you know built up of the healthy look um healthy um just slightly sun kissed, kissed uh, skin you see it does it doesn't it's so soft it's it's big brush it doesn't really put too much product on you um despite the size but it just gives you a really nice overall healthy look more or less so that was my favorite still my favorite bronzer i've got several others and uh, you know i wish i didn't buy so many but you know what's it like you know you're guilty of that too probably uh, you see something you like it you buy it and then you think why did i buy it because i've got like 18 of others uh, but i'm not so bad with bronzers i think i've got about 10 only eight or ten which is still more than enough, isn't it? I only have one face. So um, there we go. Now moving to eyes. Eyes uh, is something I obviously use every day. One is an eyeliner, which I'll talk about in a minute. This is the palette I still reach out to more often than others. Maybe because it's just so versatile. It's got a variety of... Um, textures also variety of course you can build more dramatic look you can use this these two um, as an eyeliner um, this one is a good good um, like a base for eyeshadows when you start talking of base just one second let me just distract I love that um, uh, MAC product this is um, one of the the cream shades which they use as cream shade but it's actually painterly painterly um, it says CC1, uh, Prolong Wear Paint Pot. So uh, as a base for sh shadows, absolutely wonderful. So um, here you've got matte textures, you've got shimmer textures, uh, everything you need. It, it could be really just one palette you have. You might want to have something else warmer, but with the um, number of eye palettes I have, is this is ridiculous. Um, but I love that. I love, I'm, I'm using this a lot, uh, almost every day. I also quite like using this one, is a pop, um, pop line, Dior pink, sort of beautiful nude um, pink here. Um, yeah nude products and there's variety of hang on, variety of pinks this is more intense this is more apricot this is more natural uh, this is more like candy pink but it lived with me all year not all year i bought it i bought it i think halfway through the year actually uh loved it uh, using it 
um, and there is a way of making using pink on your eyelids without making you look ill. So it's just depositing it in the right way so you don't have it all pink all over your eyes because they might look a bit ill. And I totally love that. Uh, this is Tom Ford uh, New Deep, which I panicked at some point. I can't remember who. Somebody said, oh, they might discontinue. So I bought it as a backup, but it will be, I don't know how long, because I use it quite a lot and it just doesn't go down. It's really sort of densely <laughs> densely packed. So I love that. Um, New Deep is one for me to to use more you know more maybe more and more and i'm not going to throw them away because people say oh, it's only 12 months it should be no more than ever 12 months they last longer than that this one i bought in our old house this one was definitely uh, my one of my first on foot uh, palettes uh, so and we moved here this january is now five years ago so it's absolutely still wonderful and the only reason i haven't used it much because i've got so many others uh, but this one i kind of Somehow I used more more than more than ever this year. And the um, last two to mention quickly, uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I can't not mention Charlotte Tilbury shadows because I love her shadows, also uh, her lipsticks. And this one is uh, the Rock Chick, which I used quite a lot, quite quite a lot. I used because you can do a really wonderful, cool, subtle um, day day look, but you can also add a little bit of that sparkle and have it um, like a topper. And it's been beautiful, cool palette for me. And uh, one to mention, I know I bought this set um, and I still have two others single in addition to this one. This is Pang Pangolin uh, by Shantakai. And this is a beautiful, beautiful shadow. It really is beautiful shadow. Look at that. It doesn't, it, it does look, yes, you can see now, it's more of a sort of like pinky, dusky lilac. It is, it is described as dusky lilac. And the last, last thing on the eyelids is this Tom Ford primer for eyes. I have several eye primers. I don't know why I really do, because this is the one that does the job for me perfectly. And I should probably stick to that. I recommend that very much because it's, it's a very good, Product which, um, you know, evens out if you, especially if your eyelids are oily, which I have a problem with sometimes here, um, just, just the top of it. And it just keeps your makeup in place forever. It just, until you wash it off. It's absolutely fantastic product. So that is Tom Ford Eye Primer. There is one product I haven't mentioned, actually, two products uh, for, for complexion. Those are, those are cream, cream blushes. I love all of my brushes. I haven't got blushes. I haven't got my favorite one because they are all beautiful. I very much like my um, Dior. I've got several, several ones. They're subtle. They quite, there was one with like a holographic effect, which is gorgeous as well. I like that Claude de Peau cream, um, cream blusher, which is, uh, it's a beautiful sort of warm-ish. I love it for summer, for um, all year round, really. And a very, very similar, um, which I think I bought earlier last year, uh, slightly, slightly cooler, um, which I have on me today is that um, Chanel cream blush stick. It's very subtle. I mean, you can, you know, even if you are just at home and you don't have full makeup on, a little bit of that just brings you back to life a little bit more, which I've learned over a period when I was, uh, when I was ill and in the hospital. So I use that to, to make myself a little bit more sort of life. Uh, now, I would love to talk a little bit about eyes, uh, more about eye um, liners. And we start with brows. In terms of the, um, I bought, in terms of the brows, I just bought a couple of things from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, one of them is Raisin Concealer. And one of them, the other one is a brow build or brow cheat i can't remember what's it called but i used it before i liked it it's got very nice little very stubborn and very functional brush uh, but this one uh, is anastasia beverly hills you can see the size of this um pencil it's not it's not very um 
uh, big anymore. I use it every day. It's a beautiful pencil which stays on really good. It's a good product. Anastasia Beverly Hills and mine is in taupe, I believe. And I have a backup because this is now running low. I also love uh, Duo, uh, that precision. can't remember what it's called exactly, but you can see what I mean. Uh, small, small, um, very fine pencil, which is beautiful for, you know, bringing back all the bits that missed there. Now, eyeliners. Eyeliners, I have far too many, and I have made a conscious effort to stop buying them because I think I used pretty much every um, luxury brand, um, including, I think, including Sicily there as well. And uh, I love, I love many of them. I can't tell you, oh, this is the best because there's so many really, really good ones that stand the test. So um, Tom Ford is definitely one of the winners. I never stop loving my uh, duo. This is 594, which is a fantastic product, which Charlotte Tilbury used quite a lot before she opened, you know, before she started her sort of um, expanding her brand um, uh, to this kind of products. So she used in her early makeup tutorials, she used that uh, pencil quite a lot. I absolutely love that Sisley. Sisley has got a tiny little sparkle so it's a bit bronze there's a little bronze uh, going on uh which is which doesn't spoil the look at all it's very subtle uh beautiful brown i've got a lot of chocolate colors for some reason because i probably like them i don't i don't really like black uh liners as such anymore um i find them harsh and i find them making me look older also i have um recently purchased and not so long time ago reviewed lancome lancome waterproof fantastic beautiful staying on cheaper than many of those others cheaper than duo cheaper than tom ford certainly uh beautiful pencils these are these are this sort of um pencils i have reviewed in both languages russian and english and i have now bought three colors i used to have just gray and i think i've got um, lighter brown darker brown and blue as well uh, to finish on the eye products uh, i want to mention mascaras mascaras i have been trying with all my heart i've been trying to love chanel number no. 10 which is a good mascara it still doesn't doesn't seem to be to me as good as others i know uh including by Terry, which I'm not mentioning now because I haven't actually run out of it and I, I don't use it anymore. Uh, I haven't repurchased because I've got others. I love that big uh, Monsieur Big by Lancome. Beautiful, absolutely fantastic mascara. Lengthening, um, giving volume, staying on. It doesn't go down on your skin. It doesn't do your panda eyes and it doesn't uh, really doesn't doesn't stop performing it's a beautiful beautiful uh mascara and i also like i absolutely love that mascara this is a tiny little tester is from pat mcgrath which came with one of the eyeshadows i forgot to show you one more um came with uh, one of these palettes from pat mcgrath and that is uh pat mcgrath mascara does absolutely stunning job and i love using that i take it to with uh, with me to work sometimes um and one thing I think I think I forgot to mention here is, uh, in terms of eyeliners, I have used that and I love using that. And this is my God knows what number repurchase. Uh, I, I have a new one in my makeup bag, but um, I have used it. You can see how much. This is Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon, which gives you... It's very easy to to use. You can use it as an eyeliner. You can use it as shadow and just draw it. And look, that is old pencil. It's still so good. Look, you draw it like that. Then you can smudge it. And that's what it does. And it stays on. It stays on all day. It doesn't move anywhere. But you really need to act quickly because once it's sort of started drying, within probably 30 seconds, uh, then it's hard to use. You need to only... Uh, you can only add up that product. And only one thing to mention from uh, Pat McGrath again. This palette, I purchased three palettes, I think, over the last course of last year. And this one has been quite, quite 
um, a dear, a lovely palette. Uh, this is um, Mothership One Subliminal. And you can see there is again a um, combination of, combination of uh, textures and colors. It could be quite shouting palette you can try that and, and i did that my last last night um happy new year sort of celebration that was my eyeshadow in combination with others in combination charlotte tilbury Ro the rock chick i did and that one uh beautiful absolutely beautiful stunning palette i did review of that um separately but look at the trio chrome look at that this is so beautiful um and so that is subliminal, subliminal palette, which comes in this, this box. Um, now, a couple of words on lipsticks, and we probably will be wrapping up very soon. It's a very long video. I apologize. You feel free to stop and have a break, but we haven't got much to go. Uh, concealers, concealers wise, I did buy because it was highly recommended again by my friend Miss Ranky Cat, a uh, radiant concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't used her concealers in the past, so that my no, I have. I had a touch up with um, with a sponge, which was very good as well. Um, but I like that concealer. This is though I mentioned um, Duo Forever Skin Glow, it's a great concealer and a corrector. This is Clou de Peau. And what I like about it is the formula is is dense enough, but it's creamy. It doesn't smudge around much. It stays on. It goes into your pores, like here, for example, if I do. I haven't got large pores, thankfully, but uh, and I don't know how it would perform. But I know that if I, uh, on large pores, I mean, if I go here and I want this to stay without clogging up and without kind of moving in together, this is concealer to go for. I really recommend that. I love that. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful job by Claude de Pau on that one. And one of the things that I can't do without, and I have to have several, I have one at work, I have one in the back, in makeup bag, one here, and uh, in the backup as well. This um, um, Touche Claire uh, by Yves Saint Laurent, which was originally designed, invented and designed by Thierry, who has now got her own brand. And this is a must have as a light reflector, as a, you know, builder of your uh, construction of your face, the same as shadowing. And this is like uh, illuminating, but also acts as a concealer. Um, so that is on who makeup. And no, we haven't done, we haven't done lipsticks. We haven't done lipsticks. So do you want to take a break? Switch me off and come back. Okay, we're now to lipsticks. I have several and I have a wild idea of doing a video, which is going to probably be three hours video. I don't know. I need to do three parts of it or five parts uh, on my lipsticks. But this one is, uh, I picked up lipsticks, which I used a lot this year and I love using and they are repeat purchase. One and always best lipstick in the world for me is 263 by Dior called Hazard, which they discontinued. My favorite color, my favorite formula for the life of mine. I don't understand why it discontinued. And this is my last of that lipstick. I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have spoken about her lipsticks since she started doing lipsticks a few years back. And my one of my many favorites is, um, this is small. I've got, a, I started using backup somewhere. Leave it up which I did mention in my favorites of the season last video. Leave it up in terms of color, texture, you know, staying power. Everything is just so perfect, perfectly right. And this one I've used, this is my second bullet I'm using there. This, these lipsticks are, um, you can buy them actual lipstick uh, cases cases, forgot the word, and those are the bullets themselves. And this is Dance Floor Princess, which is perfectly pinky nude. How many pinky nude lipsticks do you need? As many as you like. That's my answer. As many as you like. This one is a beautiful, beautiful everyday lipstick. I use it quite a lot. I use all the time, all the time, even at home. Uh, one of the lipsticks I must mention, because I use it quite a lot too, and this is my, I think it's my second 
Amaretta's World by Laura Mercy. Beautiful, similar to Boy uh, by Chanel, um, just much cheaper. Um, so this one is a boy, I think it was a similar bullet, actually similar size. Uh, boy is more creamy, it's like gliding well, but it doesn't actually stay on. This one is much better in terms of the formula. I like it more actually, more than uh, that Chanel lipstick. Uh, that is Laura Mercy Amaretta Swirl. And one more to mention in terms of lipsticks, this is the new-ish newish formula of Sisley and this one is number 20 sheer petal sheer petal uh, beautiful pink absolutely beautiful pink uh, everyday gorgeous combination of you know creaminess and there is a luxury image of you know lips and on the lip glosses I only want to mention two I do have several I've got quite a bag of those are my glosses. Why? Ask me why and you won't get an answer. Uh, this is um, Chanel, one of my favorites of all times. It, it gives you a perfect result. I love that. Chanel um, glosses and Sisley. Sisley, I have five different glosses. This one you can see now. I only used, I keep using it all the time, but you know, I only used, you can see how much. That's where it is now. And I had it now for over a year, definitely. Um, so Sisley and Chanel, those are my lip glosses. And now very quick couple of words on uh, brushes, brush tools. Uh, I talked about that. That's a perfect as a bronzer. It's got a little resistance, but it's actually soft enough to distribute your bronzer without without making it like, um, you know, patchy. Uh, Le Mer, one of the best synthetic brushes probably for powder. I use it for powder, for the dual powder sometimes, for for my um, Guerlain meteorites, uh, fantastic. And this one, I just want to spend half a minute, literally, talking about this. This is BK Beauty. And I had, I spent a few months thinking about it, not because of the price, it's quite pricey. I think it's about 50, I can't remember how much it is. Synthetic brush, best design, Ever, I think this is the best design for makeup brush of all brands. It's fantastic cut. It's quite large. You see how much it, it covers. It also got that edge here. You can use that to go into little places here like that. And it just works perfectly. It's a perfect brush. And in fact, I don't know what to do with my other brushes now. I'm kind of using them because I feel guilty sometimes. I still turn to this one all the time. So those are my favorite. And just two words, literally two words about, it's now 55 minutes, gosh, uh, about uh, perfumes. My favorite perfumes will come, a video will come. I have been given by my husband, who listens to conversations, who listens to things. Uh, Santal 33 by Le Labo for Christmas. Absolutely love this scent. I mean, it's 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 mysterious, it's uh, beautiful. I can't say it's my favorite of a year. It will be definitely in my favorite of a year next year because I only got it, I only had it for a week. But it's beautiful scent, uh, just saying. Uh, but my favorite of a year probably was this Another 13 by Le Labo in combination with a molecule. Molecule and you can use them together because they're not really cancelling each other. They don't really contradict. They don't argue. They're very well going together. They're both Abraxan basically. It's, it's, it's like, and they also, funny enough, they go with Santal. This one, a molecule brings higher notes of Santal up a bit and it, it sort of enhances it. So that is interesting. Uh, I've just done it, sprayed it accidentally once and I thought, hmm, sounds nice. Whew, I'm done. I'm done. Those are my favorites of the year. Uh, thank you for being patient. Thank you for staying with me for so long. And uh, I wish you all a very good, successful, healthy and happy new year. Thanks for watching. I see you very soon. Bye bye.